Rick Shenna is here at MedStar Health in McLean for a checkup. Mr. Shenna has had Parkinson's disease now for 17 years. Is 17 years diagnosed. Yeah. Parkinson's is a movement disorder of the nervous system, so the brain exhibits abnormal activity for Parkinson's disease patients. Who, uh, because of that abnormal activity, get a slowness of movement, they get a lot of rest tremor like he currently has. For 15 years, Rick Shenna's treatment was different medications. So I was getting at a point with the drugs that they weren't as effective and to take more of them was going to start causing different problems like hallucinations. So in September of last year, Rick had surgery to begin deep brain stimulation or DBS. So he has a pulse generator right here. There's a connection going in and he has two electrodes that are placed in part of the brain called the subthalamic nucleus. That implanted neurostimulator is sensing brain activity 24 hours a day. Yeah, you know, this deep brain stimulator for the brain is basically a pacemaker for the brain. DBS has made all the difference in the world. He's also able to fine tune the device with a smartphone app. Today, Rick's DBS treatment is being elevated to the next level. Last month, FDA approved uh, the use of adaptive DBS. That means instead of Rick having to adjust the settings, the system will know when to do it. For whatever activity he's doing, and it's different from when you're sleeping, reading a book, or exercising. So a field technician from Medtronic, the company that makes the DBS, is here to help set up the device based on what Rick's brain activity has been for the past That's several weeks. Right. After analyzing the data, Dr. Pagan is setting the system to match Rick's brain activity. Does that feel comfortable enough? You don't, yeah, you don't feel too symptomatic? And when all the fine tuning was done. So you now are officially the first patient in the D.C. metro area with adaptive deep brain stimulation. Thank you, Dr. Pagan. I love you, brother. Welcome to, welcome to the 21st century. In McLean, Virginia, Neil Loggenstein, WTLP News.